think it was like, it's fine being a woman of color in engineering. I never really had any problems, but like for me, it felt like um, more like solidarity with like my race rather than my gender. So I didn't really join like Society of Women Engineers. Like I did WISE for like a year, but I felt really close instead with like the national side of black engineers, like black engineers in general. So, and also like a lot of my friends are women of color. Like a lot of my like female engineering friends are women of color. Cause I just feel like there's kind of a, like dis I do have like white female friends, but there's kind of like a disconnect. I always wanted to take a class. My really good friend Connor Spanks like graduated. She is kind of like the embodiment of like women and like female and gender sexuality studies and stuff and like all my friends who have taken the class. I feel like there's a lot, um, there's still a lot left to do and stuff. And um, I guess as a woman of color, I was wondering if there is um, like a good discussion of like the intersectionality between race and gender, which I'm sure there is and something that needs to be addressed, especially in like because I follow like Jezebel a lot, um, and there's always like kind of some clashes between like white feminists and black feminists and like feminists of color and stuff, and how um, that stuff needs to be kind of addressed. So I actually just have really a really good impression of our department here. So I definitely think that it's very relevant in our society, um, and just like reading up. Um, as like a woman of color about like the intersectionality um, and like cultural appropriation that like say Miley Cyrus did on like twerking and black culture and um, the like Twitter handle of like solidarities for white women. I feel like there's a lot of things that still need to be addressed um, and just like to like keep moving forward towards like total equality. So I think it's definitely very relevant.